Hello, this is Lisa Swain from the Connecticut Pyramid Partnership. We are a collaboration among many agencies in Connecticut, some of which you see here. And our mission is building a statewide system for pyramid model implementation in order to enhance the competencies of those that care for, educate, and support young children and their families. Connecticut is a state that supports the social and emotional well being of all young children and their families. So, what is the pyramid model? The pyramid model is a national framework which is evidence based and designed to promote social and emotional development. It helps children develop trusting, healthy attachments and relationships with their primary caregivers, helps them to develop self-regulation, to develop, express, recognize, and respond to emotions, to develop self-awareness, self-concept, and competence, and also to develop friendships. And we work with children birth to five and the earlier these children can learn all of these important skills, the more successful they will be throughout school and life. And this is all aligned with our Connecticut Early Learning and Development Standards, our CTLs, and it is a framework that works with any social emotional curriculum. So what do children do when they don't have those social emotional skills? That's when we often see challenging behavior. So the pyramid model is a preventative approach. We want to teach the skills to children and then they won't have to exhibit the challenging behavior. And this is what the pyramid model is really all about, just like teaching children how to read and how to do math problems and ride a bike, we need to teach social emotional skills. There are many amazing resources and they are all for free for early child care providers and families. I'm going to show you two ways to access these resources. One is through the Connecticut Pyramid Partnership. And you can go to this website. The Office of Early Childhood has three pages devoted to the pyramid model. And the first is an overview, which gives you the history of the pyramid model, how it was created, and how we are implementing it in Connecticut, some of the agencies involved. The second page shows how some programs in our state are doing full implementation of the pyramid model. And you can also ac access the entire 18 hour pyramid model training for free on this website. The third page is a resource page. And here you will find some videos aligning with the Connecticut core knowledge and competencies in the pyramid model, with the CTLs, with the Head Start Early Learning Outcomes Framework. There are also many videos on adult self-care and managing stress. There are resource videos to help children learn how to express their emotions and many other family engagement videos. There's the backpack series, which is wonderful. And I'm gonna show you the other site where you can access all of these resources. So we also provide toolkits on our Connecticut Pyramid page. And these are on different topics and just show you a bunch of different videos, books, supplements, and other resources for early child care providers and families. So let's go to the National Pyramid website. And this is just a wealth of information. You can go to the main page 
and you're going to find an introductory video if you want to learn more about the pyramid model right here. There's also a special COVID page with resources for this time. And you can go to the resource library down here and search thousands of different free resources for teachers and families. You can also just click on this resource library tab, the green tab, and you can filter things by language, by audience, and by resource type and category. So let's say I'm looking for something to help children express their feelings. I can find some videos about teaching feelings with book reading or some Play-Doh mat feeling faces where kids can play right with the mats, self-regulation skills. There's Tucker the turtle, and those are available in many languages, some feeling face charts, a wheel, and that's just one page of the many resources on feelings. So again, all of this is free for children and families and providers, and it's a wonderful resource. So thank you so much for joining us and for your interest in the pyramid model. <clears throat> if you have more questions, you can reach us at Connecticut Pyramid at gmail.com. And please check out the Office of Early Childhood Connecticut Pyramid page and the National Center for Pyramid Model Innovations. Thanks so much and have a great day.